Well, happy March, Messiah friends, as we continue in the rest of our For God So Loved the World uh, Lenten series. And if you've been going through our daily devotions and building the mobile, which we hope that you have, uh, you've seen that it's people of the promise that the Savior, the Messiah, Jesus, was long promised to God's people. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and their whole family line of descendants. People knew that they, he was coming. Maybe didn't recognize him when he got here. They believed in coming to God's house or worshiping him in the tabernacle. They believed they could find rest and they believed they could find uh, God's promises in his word. Promises like our child Sunday school lesson today from Isaiah 40, which Isaiah 40, 27 and forward says, Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths, young men shall be faint and be weary, and young men fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength and rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not be faint. What a great promise. What a great realization that the family followers of Jesus would have recognized. I'm coming to you from the sanctuary uh, church in one of the pews where we gather together for worship. Maybe some of us are worshiping online at home. But we talked on Wednesday about how worship is a place where we can rest where we can be reminded of God's promises of God's faithfulness and where we can praise him the followers of God the Israelites and his family tree knew they should be aware of that and yet today in our gospel lesson in our lesson in church we see a very special lesson in Matthew 8 where um, a centurion a Roman soldier comes before Jesus and says, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home, suffering terribly. And he said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion replied, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you come under my roof. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man under authority with soldiers under me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he marveled and said to those who followed him, Truly I tell you that with no one in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you many will come from east and west and recline at the table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, while the sons of the kingdom will be thrown out into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing and teeth. To the centurion, Jesus said, Go, let it be done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed at that very moment. We discover in our reading, For God so loved the world, that Jesus came for those Israelites, those family people in his family tree. He came with all the promises and the hope. He came for so much more for that. He came for the whole world, for the Gentiles, those that were not part of the family tree, those that would later come to faith. People like that Roman centurion, people like you and me, probably, because we're not part of that family line. We're part of the ends of the earth and the descendants of the world that came much later. And yet Jesus was for them too. He is for you and me. The promises of God to his people, about trusting in him, about him renewing our strength, about his presence and peace and with his healing, those are promises to you and to me as well. So as we continue on our uh, For God So Love the World Lenten journey and see that Jesus is that long promised Messiah, that long promised Savior. And as we see what he came to do and how he cares for those both in his family tree and outside of it, 
we can uh, rest assured that his presence is with us, his love and forgiveness is for us, and we can be bold in sharing that with other people because God and Jesus are for them too. Maybe we want to invite them uh, to come to worship with us, or uh, maybe they're not comfortable going out and we can share our uh, worship link with them, our Sunday school lesson. We could uh, share something we're learning. We could be a, a true friend, be somebody that points to Jesus and leads to Jesus by how we serve. So I'd encourage you to take a look at those uh, in lessons in a little bit more detail at messiahtampa.com slash Sunday School. We've got lots coming up uh, as we get closer to Easter to invite friends to. So check out www.messiahtampa.com slash Easter for all the info on our Holy Week events, services, and our family colors of Easter and uh, egg hunt event. A great opportunity to get involved and serve or to invite others. Bye, my friends.